Across the country, some 12 million people are looking for work. Another 8 million people are working part-time because they can't find full-time employment. The economy, though, isn't entirely to blame. We have a very high unemployment rate, but we also have jobs that go begging every day because people don't have those skills. Congresswoman Virginia Fox says part of the problem is that workers can't navigate the maze of job training programs offered by the federal government. So she is working to push through a bill this week that would consolidate 35 programs into one. The federal government often puts out these one-size-fits-all programs and they simply don't work in the 50 states and the thousands of localities across the country. But opponents charge that Fox's plan wouldn't work either, claiming that her proposal would eliminate protections for at-risk workers. We're a little bit concerned that it eliminates dedicated funding streams that could help a lot of folks, um, low-wage, low-skilled workers in particular. In a sign of just how heated this debate has become, last week in the middle of a committee vote on the bill, angry Democrats got up and left the room. New York Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy sits on the committee. She didn't attend that contentious vote, but charges that Fox has refused to listen to Democrats. It's a political statement, and you're wasting our time doing stuff with political statements when you wouldn't even basically negotiate with the other side. Fox claims that's just not true. We had the bill for a markup, meaning it's there where you offer amendments and we vote on the bill. And they walked out without offering any amendments whatsoever. The full House is expected to pass the bill on Friday, but it's not likely to go anywhere in the Democratic-controlled Senate. In Washington, Michael Scotto.